Mount Sherm Observatory, just outside Canberra, we've been doing astronomy for over 100 years. Things from discovering planets, so some of the first planets around other stars were discovered here, to 95% uh, of the universe. So the latest Nobel Prize actually came from Mount Sherm. So things like discovering our solar system and understanding it are integral to what we do. Tonight, we see the end of Cassini. Cassini is part of our lives. It's been part of our vernacular. It's been part of our culture for the past two decades. The things that we know about Saturn are pretty much only because of Cassini. So we will have the public here to celebrate one of the greatest scientific missions that we've had in our lifetime. Seeing Saturn with your own eyes, there's nothing like it. Which is why when we broadcast images of Cassini going into Saturn, you need a projector, you need something that can match what you can see with your physical eyes. And that's how the Epson projectors have really helped us. I could have never imagined this moment happening around, huddled around a, you know, an eight inch CRT or even a big screen TV, because you kind of would be let down. You want to see as much as we possibly can. There's no point of beaming back information that we don't appreciate and look at. So you don't want to lose that resolution. You don't want to lose that crisp image. When you broadcast it on the side of a dome that is three meters wide, you need a projector that can power it and a projector that can show that resolution in detail. Tonight's event is really the culmination of an entire circle of our relationship actually with Epson. You know, we are sitting right now in a building because we wanted to display the science and research we're doing. We have things projecting on beaming lasers into space to remove debris or building probes to go visit distant planets. It's not every day that you actually crash a $3 billion probe that heats up to 1300 degrees, melts, has a nuclear detonation and then crushed by gravity. But that's what we're doing tonight. And that's what we're allowing the public to come into our space and be a part of the end of the journey. We saw the birth, we saw the life, and now we'll see the end of Cassini.